All right, training thoughts for today's session, Monday, I believe the 26th of April. I have not trained very hard in probably like five days or so. And this wasn't a hard session at all. This was kind of like a, almost like a check-in session. Just making sure I had, if you watch my last training thoughts video, I have, I have been having a little bit of shoulder pain on my left side and a little bit of knee pain on my left side as well. Both of those have been mitigated slightly. So I wanted to see how my body would react to a little bit of a workout today. So this search portion is the get your mind right session. Get your mind right. So this, this portion was first, this is second, this is third. Basically this portion allows me to see how my body is feeling overall. So that's why everything is kind of like a, a tapered down version of this next section. So a body weight squat, heels elevated, 15 reps, nice and slow, trying to keep the torso stacked above the heels and really drive the knees forward to, uh, to basically see how the knees are feeling, see if they can handle the tension, see if I should back off see if I should go heavy with legs, not heavy, but see if I should train my legs in general. Uh, elevated push-up, so that means I was elevated like so at an angle. I have a video of this I'll put up. And just taking a little bit of my body weight out of the movement. <clears throat> 12 repetitions. Tall kneeling row is kind of like a regression towards a pull-up. So I'm on my knees, I'm going here, and I'm rowing into the side and I'm flipping the grip almost like it was as if I was doing like a ring pull up or a chin up position. 12 of those per arm. Shadow boxing was basically just to almost still just warm up, get the heart rate up, get moving and just see how my body reacted to all the different kind of, you know, punches and throws that shadow boxing would require. Also watching kick ass UFC fights this last weekend. so. That kind of motivated me to 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 get into to, yeah, to shadow box and to ultimately hit the punching bag a little bit more. But we'll get into that in a different session. This was three rounds. Everything felt good. The knees even felt good, but I still just kind of wanted to predominantly hit the upper body because the upper body feels just normal. So I wanted to give my full attention to my upper body without having to worry about babying my left knee and really worrying about it. So after the three rounds of that, I went here, started with front foot elevated, split squat, isometric, 25 seconds. Only did one set of this, only did one set of the shadow boxing here. This was more just like this one, it's, it's just testing the knee in a different position. This time I had it going through full flexion and extension. This time I had it in flexion, hold that position, breathe, control it, um, see how it feels. It felt good. Uh, only one set there. Push-ups, neutral grip. I have a video of this. Uh, neutral grip has always been favorable for me. Uh, so when push-ups, neutral grip, I'm basically putting my hands and using dumbbells for my hand placement because I can manipulate the dumbbells whether I want them neutral, so they're parallel to each other, or I want them 45 degree, or I want them uh, perpendicular <coughs> to the ground. All right, so 12 repetitions, nice and slow, making sure my body is moving as a plank. So when I think of a plank, you think straight line. So there's no butt up first, head up first, shoulder up first, or anything like that. It is, it's one fluid motion. That felt amazing. Pull-ups, pull-ups are, are just pull-ups, they're amazing. I did five repetitions, overhand grip. My grip was basically shoulder width. A um, little bit of arch in the back to target the upper and mid back here. Five solid reps, make sure every rep, make sure the last rep looks like the first rep. So the quality remains the same throughout the sets. <clears throat> These two, I did four rounds. So four rounds of the push-ups, four rounds of the pull-ups, 
one round of the shadow boxing, one round of the front foot elevated split squat isometric. After this, uh, I don't know why, but I think the tall kneeling really made me uh, kind of think about my core in that position. I had to really squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core, and I wanted to add in a little bit more abdominal work. So my favorite, the ab will roll out. <clears throat> Five strict repetitions. Go out, go in. Don't lose the pace. Control the pace, control the movement. Make sure the butt squeeze. Make sure the hips and the arms are extending at the same time. And then to a neutral grip shoulder press. Neutral grip, just like push ups, a little bit easier on my shoulder. Allows me to get a little more volume in and not have to worry about anything. 10 repetitions, seated, just straight up straight down, straight up, straight down. 10 repetitions per arm, three sets total. This was like a reintroduction to weight training almost. We have the past week, you know, it's been a week or so since I've really lifted. So just take it easy, see how I feel tomorrow. Based off how I'm feeling tomorrow, I will um, increase the intensity throughout the week and throughout the next several weeks. And most likely the next session will kind of put a little bit more weight on the lower body to really see how uh, the knee is feeling overall. All right, any questions, drop them down below.